Hi guys, I'm Suze, and today I'm going to teach you how to make these really cool geometric coasters. So we're going to do the class in Fusion 360, and I was inspired to make these coasters. I was actually just looking on Pinterest and got inspired by cool patterns. Um, this one's a really simple chevron pattern, but I saw really cool Chinese patterns, architectural patterns. So let's get started and have fun making these really useful, functional coasters. Hi everyone! We're going to be making these really cool geometric coasters today. So the first thing you need to do, step one, we will be creating the geometric pattern. So we'll create the coaster by defining the space the coaster will occupy through the sketch of a circle. We'll draw the circle on the top plane with an 80 millimeter diameter, which is about three inches. This is the space that our coaster will occupy. We stop the sketch and we just use it as a guide. Then we create a new sketch of a rectangle that is two millimeters wider than the circle. What we want to do is to fill the space of the coaster with the rectangles and to make it symmetric with the vertical symmetry line. So select the rectangular pattern tool in the sketch section and we will create a pattern for our rectangles. We set the distance type as spacing and drag the arrows and you can see what happens. We set the distance at 10 millimeters and the direction type at symmetric. And then we set the quantity at a number that is high enough to fill the space of the coaster that we defined by the circle we first drew. Now use the extrude tool and extrude all of these sticks at two millimeters high. I think that's a good thickness for a coaster. You could maybe make it a little bit thicker, three millimeters. Step two, how to create the diagonal elements of the pattern. Now we create the diagonal lines of the pattern. We start a new sketch on the top plane and we use a three point rectangle. We'll start from one vertex of the first stick and we create a diagonal rectangle. You can choose how long you want to make it. I'm making mine around 15 millimeters, but you can obviously customize yours. Make sure to have all of the vertices of the rectangle overlapping with the first shape. We select now the rectangular pattern again and we repeat the same operations that we did before. We set the distance in the vertical direction at negative 10 millimeters and the number of repetitions at 9, which is enough to fill the length with all of the sticks. And then we'll drag the arrow also in the horizontal direction. We are able to set the distance this time at 20 millimeters and the number of repetitions at 4. I hide all of the elements now to be able to extrude the one that I know I want to extrude. We select all of the profiles that we just created and we extrude them using the extrude tool, making them two millimeters thick. Make sure to set your operation to join. Turn on all the other elements to check the result. Step three, how to create the second set of diagonals. We repeat the same operations that we just did to create the second set of diagonals and fill the empty lines. We'll start a new sketch on the top plane and we use a three point rectangle tool again. We draw the rectangle starting from the opposite vertex of the stick and we create the rectangle. We can adjust the rectangle afterward to make it symmetric with the previous one. To adjust the rectangle, just drag and move the edges of the, or the vertex until you're satisfied with the result. Then you can use the rectangular pattern again with the same settings we used before to complete the pattern. Then extrude again all the elements and making them two millimeters thick. And again, be sure to use the operation to join them. Step four, how to cut the shape of the coaster. Now that we have the geometric pattern, we can cut the shape of the coaster. We create a new sketch on the top plane and we draw a circle like the first one we drew at the beginning. With the center and the origin again, we create a second circle bigger than the geometric pattern. Notice now we have two closed spaces that we can use, the internal one and the one between the two circles. Let's focus on this one. We use this space to extrude and cut, to cut away the external part of the pattern and obtain the coaster shape. We use the extrude tool in the create section on the top menu and drag the arrow to make it thick enough to cut away the thickness of the pattern. Make sure to set the operation to cut. Step five, how to create the border. To complete the coaster, we create a border to frame the pattern. 
We draw once again on the top plane and we create the same circle that we created in the beginning. Then we create a smaller one with the center and the origin again. We have once again two closed spaces. We select the space between the two circles and we extrude it two millimeters, making sure this time to again use the operation join so that we merge this part with the rest of the coaster. Last step, step six, save and export. We save the project in Autodesk Fusion 360 Cloud as a geometric coaster. Now right click on the new name on the top left menu to open the secondary menu and select this to save as an STL or 3D modeled file to be able to 3D print your project. Thanks guys, I can't wait to see what you all create. Bye. Don't forget to upload your STL and show us all of the cool, unique designs that you're designing and making. I printed mine in glow-in-the-dark PLA filament, but you could print yours in sandstone or metal, so the world is your oyster. Have fun. Thanks. Bye.